Hi there! In this video, I'll be showing you how to change the PTFE tube on your direct drive upgraded N3 3D printer. Let's get to it! Hi, I'm Alexey, and welcome to Hardframe Soft. I recently installed a printable direct drive upgrade to my Ender 3. Today I'm taking out the stock PTFE tube and installing a higher quality Capricorn one. During the process we can make sure that we don't have any blockages in the nozzle so we can have the best printing quality possible. When I installed this direct drive upgrade I didn't realize how much work it is to actually take the extruder off. For example to change the PTFE tube. I wanted to find out if there's any way to make it easier. I realized I could turn around the bolts that keep the hot end carriage and the extruder together. By having the nut on the front, the bolt can come off the back and you don't have to remove the hot end to remove the extruder. The stock bolt is a bit too long for this orientation, so you'll have to put in some washers or use a shorter bolt. If you've done the change I just showed you, it's going to be a lot easier to change the PTFE tube. We can start by disconnecting the belt ends. Take out the bolts that keep the rollers on. You can take the coupling clip off so you can push on the coupling. You might need to unscrew the top screw that's holding the hot end cover in place. Push on the coupling ring and pull on the extruder in a bending motion to get it off the hot end assembly. I've had zero luck trying to get the tube out without also taking the coupling out. So I'll just unscrew the whole coupling. Next, we'll want to warm up the hot end a bit to get the tube out. It probably won't require more than 120 degrees Celsius before it'll come out. If your old tube was already cut to the right length, you can use that as a measuring guide. My tube measured at 65 millimeters, but fortunately the extruder end doesn't need it to be all that precise. We have our tube ready, now we can put in the coupling. Screw it down tight first, then back it off maybe half a turn. Push on the coupling ring and push the tube as far down as it goes. Then we tighten the coupling. This makes the coupling push the tube in a bit more, so we have a tighter seal on the nozzle. Now we can put the extruder assembly back on. Put the rollers back on and make sure the carriage rolls smoothly. Lastly, we can reattach the belt and adjust the tension. Now that the printer is back together, let's make sure it's extruding filament smoothly. After pushing some filament through, the flow is looking really good. We can finish the install with some wire management to make sure the cables don't get stuck while printing. And that's how you change the PTFE tube on a direct drive upgraded Ender 3. Let me know what you think of the process or if you have any ideas how to make it a bit easier. I still feel it's a bit finicky to get the extruder off, but at least turning the bolts around made it a bit easier. I'll be making more videos about upgrading and tuning my Ender 3 and also check out this video where I installed the direct drive upgrade. Thanks for watching Hardframe Soft. If you enjoyed this video, press like. And if you want to see more videos about 3D printer upgrades, also consider subscribing. See you in the next one.